In this project, we have the pleasure of assisting Steve and Jordan Millard of CNY Concrete Countertops. They have been longtime users of Buddy Rhodes Concrete products. They will be using Buddy Rhodes Vertical Concrete Mix to create a custom water feature that will be used to anchor the brand new Grand Reception area at the Great Outdoors Superstore in Auburn, New York. The Vertical Mix was chosen because it is a lightweight mix with exceptional adhesion. This will allow the concrete to be placed on all the irregular vertical surfaces and it will not fall or slump. Other benefits of this mix include it being flame rated, easy to use and versatile, it's economical and non-toxic. This project began as a design and sketch up for a natural rock water feature which acted as a backdrop for the reception desk. Large blocks of EPS foam were carved with a hot wire saw to create the irregular shapes. Then the foam was stacked and glued together with an expandable foam adhesive. Once the overall structure was complete, we were ready to start the application of the Buddy Rhodes Vertical Mix System. The primary material in this system is a lightweight, pre-blended concrete bag mix. The second material is an economical bonding primer and cure promoter called RAMP. RAMP, mixed 50-50 with clean water, can be applied to many surfaces to improve the bond of the vertical mix to the substrate. It should be sprayed evenly and allowed to become tacky before proceeding. When you are ready to mix, add the water and RAMP cure promoter into a clean mixing vessel. Slowly add the dry material into the mixing water and blend until homogenous. You may add up to 16 fluid ounces of additional water per bag to achieve the desired consistency. For most applications, Buddy Rhodes Vertical Mix should feel light and fluffy and hold its shape when pressed. A thin value of mix is applied and worked into the surface. This ensures the vertical mix has good adhesion to the surface. Immediately following this layer, a thicker build may be applied. Continue covering all the foam areas with vertical mix to a minimum thickness of 3 quarters of an inch of material. This will permit carving to create texture without exposing the foam beneath. You will continue mixing and applying the material the same way, just keep in mind to allow enough time on the back end to carve all the material before the end of the day. In some cases you may want to stop adding new material if you have already applied a lot of material that's awaiting the carving window. You can always start again the following day with new mix. We encountered large vertical areas in the rear of the project, so we mechanically attached wire lath to the foam. This would give a good foundation for the vertical mix to grab onto and allow us to use a mortar sprayer to apply the material more quickly. While the material is still in its plastic state, the mix can be textured using rubber stamps or rollers. Use a liquid release to reduce sticking of the material to the stamps. Once the material is rigid enough to hold its shape and not move excessively, you may begin carving. Chip brushes are used to remove tooling lines and create a more realistic effect. You can use a pointed mason trowel early in the carving window to remove larger areas to create a more dimensional texture such as individual rock sections. Next we started applying the vertical mix to the column wrapped in foam. This will become the tree. The material is applied the same way by rubbing a thin amount onto the foam and applying more material to this.
A wood grain roller was used to give a base texture. Sculpting tools created fine detail while trowels and wire brushes provided the bark texture. After the material has set at least 16 hours, topical color may be applied using sprayers, sponges, or brushes. A combination of many colors of Buddy Rhodes glazes may be layered on for realistic natural effects. The reception desk was precast upside down using a rock texture edge form on a melamine surface. The Buddy Rose GFRC blended mix was used with the AR glass fibers. First the edges were hand laid up with a stiffer mix to cover all the edges of the mold surface. Then the rest of the form was filled with a more fluid mix that was poured into the form to self consolidate. A few holes were drilled into the structure to accommodate live plants that provide a living element and color. The protective construction fabric was removed from the floor and the area was cleaned. The water was turned on and tested prior to the reveal. Finally, the plastic draping was removed for the grand reveal. The massive lifelike display will serve as a focal point and customer attraction for many years to come.